Okay, let's have a talk about the anatomy of this here transport for a Tascam 244. Basically, you've got three motors here. This is a capstan motor, this is a control motor, and if we turn it over, the terms that I'm using here might not be exactly what's written in the service manual, I'd need to check, but I'm gonna call that the idler motor. Um, let's run through what these do. Capstan motor, basically, this turns this. There's gonna be a rubber belt, the capstan belt, that goes around here and that turns this large flywheel. The purpose of that is the other end of the flywheel, that pin there, that is the capstan. In play mode, this rises so that the pinch roller touches the capstan. I'll just simulate that by manually turning that white wheel at the back. Your cassette's sitting there and it's traveling around here and going past the magnetic heads here and to here. So this would be like your uh, supply reel and your take-up reel. I think that's how we talk about it. That movement is created at least partly by this pinch roller, this rubber part here, pressing against um, the capstan. And the pinch roller doesn't have any movement driving it. It's just there to create pinch so that that will tug the, um, the tape through at an even speed past these heads, this being the record and playback and this being a raise. That's what that motor is doing. That's the main one responsible for making sure that there's an even speed of the tape across here. The next motor we'll talk about is the idler motor. That motor is turning a little brass what would we call that? I'll call it a spindle, I don't think that's the right word for it, there. And then there's there's two little wheels like this. These are the idler wheels and they have idler tires on them. This is the black rubber tire that's on it. Here's ones where the rubber is decayed. Um, they're separated by a little spring, but if you imagine there's a bottom one and there's a top one, they're separated by a spring like this. That brass thing is turning the lower one, and then the upper one is turning either this one or this one. And depending what mode, it's going to make this one turn, so the tape comes through this way. Or it's going to switch over here and make this one turn, which will make the tape go that way. So this motor and this mechanism is at work in play and rewind and fast forward. If you're in play mode, then the overall speed is controlled by the capstan turning against the pinch roller. In playback mode, the tape's going this way. What this is doing is making sure that the that this reel is turning at least as fast, or preferably faster, than the capstan. So that all the tape that's coming through here ends up on there. If, if it doesn't, then the tape will build up there and that's how you begin to get the tape chewing up. In fast forward and rewind mode, this whole array with the pinch roller and the two magnetic heads is down. It's out of this reset of the cassette. Fast forward mode. This cell will be spinning as fast as it can, causing this to fill up as fast as it can. And conversely, in rewind mode, um, that will be over there. That will be turning that this way. So this fills up as fast as it possibly can and the capstan won't be involved it'll be it'll still be spinning in there but because the pinch roller isn't pushing the tape against it it's not a factor in how fast the tape is traveling and last of all we'll come over to this the uh, control motor the way this works is a bit more complicated it's turning here this is the spindle uh, pulley I, I, I think I think this bit with a little groove in it it's called a pulley. There's a belt in there and that causes that to turn. But as that turns, there's a system of gears and cams in here. Essentially what that's doing, and I can do it manually, it's changing how high or low the pinch roller and the magnetic heads are. It's actually turning the spindle of this potentiometer. And so basically there's a logic system elsewhere in the 244 which is reading resistance value. Certain resistance values here correspond to play, rewind, fast forward. And so that's how this unit communicates, if you like, with the transport buttons. So let's do a quick recap. Capstan motor turns the flywheel, which turns the capstan. And that's to do with playback mode and getting an even speed. This idler motor, via these idler tires, turns either the take up or the supply reel. That's the only system that's operating in fast forward and rewind, but it also ensures that there's enough take tape up so you don't get chewing during playback mode. And finally, this little motor 
relate to this resistor and all these gears which change how high and low the magnetic heads and the pinch roller go. And that is about as much as you need to know in terms of changing the rubber parts. In the next video, we'll talk about what the common problems are with, you'll have with your transport and how you can diagnose before you even open it up which of those rubber parts you think are going to need to be replaced.